Friends, today we are going to design 5 volt power supply. Okay, let's first of all design the circuit diagram for the project. We are having 240 volt. That is the single phase line we are going to use. So this 240 volt is going to be stepped down to a manageable level. So the output voltage is will be 5 volt. So we need to step this voltage close to that 5 volt. So we are going to use a transformer, a step down transformer. So first of all, we have a step down transformer. This is the primary side. This is the primary side where we are going to feed the input voltage. The 240 single phase. Like we can say this side is life. And that side is neutral. And this side is the secondary side of the transformer. So this side is where we are going to achieve that. We are going to get 12 volt AC at this side, the primary and the secondary side. Then after stepping down this main AC from 240 volt to 12 using transformer then we have a transformer here this is the transformer okay ac 12 volt output so this one is written 220 but we shall use it in 240 so the range is goes up to 250 okay after the transformer so this is the primary side this is where the input the 240 volt is going to be fed on this side these wires and you will get between blue any blue and white we will get 12 volt AC. Okay. Then after that, we are going to rectify this AC voltage. So the AC signal is normally represented this way. Okay. The AC signal is normally represented this way. So this is the AC. So it changes direction. So this this side at time is positive, at another time is negative. Now the DC, the DC you want to achieve, the DC is just a straight line. Eh? It doesn't change any polarity or direction so we need to rectify this dc by rectifying this dc we have two methods we have a half wave we have half wave whereby we have we use one diode to rectify only one side uh only the positive side and we have bridge rectifier where we whereby we rectify, we rectify both positive and negative in this project we shall test both but let's build, um, let's first of all use bridge rectifier. It's very important. Let's just draw with that. Then we'll also draw with a single diode, half wave. Guys, this is how a bridge rectifier looks like. Okay, this is a bridge rectifier. So these are four diodes connected in a bridge. And we have to con now connect it to the system. So we have this one connected here. And we have that one connected there so this is how it's going to work when this side is when it is positive let's say it is this side so the current will come it reaches here and passes through this diode and it will continue and when it returns it will return at this point and it returns back to the system okay that's how it works so the full video i've put it in the description you will find it there at this point here, we'll have DC power at this point. So this DC power will proceed. We have the AC, the AC which is, so but using bridge rectifier, this is the output we'll be achieving here, at the output. When this one passes through here, the diode, it gets rectified, then after rectifying, it will be like this, output from the diode, then it returns, okay? It will return from here back to the transform back to the system so when it changes this becomes positive and that becomes negative so the diode will conduct on this side so the positive will still remain on one side so the positive so on the other side it will look like this and it will continue like that so the circle will continue like that up to the end then after this the the dc rectified from this point you still have uh, the many AC component because it's just the nature of the voltage is AC. So there, there will still be AC component. So we need to get rid of this AC component so that we can get a pure DC DC current. So for us to be able to do that, we need to design a filtering circuit. So in this project, we are going to use a capacitor filter. 
So this capacitor filter will allow us to remove the AC component from the rectified DC. Okay, there are different types of uh, filters. We have capacitor filter. We have LC filter. This is combination of inductor and capacitor. Then we have pi filter. So that is capacitor, inductor, capacitor. So in this project, we are going to use capacitor filter. The, other, the next project will use LC filter and the other project will use pi filter. The capacitor allows the AC component to pass through, but it doesn't allow DC. So when the AC component will pass through the capacitor, the, the capacitor will block all the AC components here at this point and allow only DC to, to pass through. So the DC will pass and all the AC component will be shorted here by the capacitor and the AC component will be removed. After filtering the rectified DC, then we have a, we'll have a certain level of voltage here which will come from the bridge rectifier. For us to be able to get the output voltage, it is normally this times the VDC. For us to be able to get the voltage here, so it is root 2 times the input voltage. So the input voltage we feed here is 12. Eh? So 12 volt is what is fed here. So we do root 2 times 12, you will get that, that is around 9. Uh, around. So that is around... Uh, which is 19 or 17 or 19 volt that's what you would get at this point here so it is the same voltage which will flow up to this capacitor then now we'll have to connect a voltage a linear voltage regulator so we'll connect a linear voltage regulator this linear voltage regulator will provide us a fixed output dc regardless of the nature of the input so the output we'll get from this from this voltage regulator linear voltage regulator will be a fixed and constant DC as we drew here at before. So we'll get a constant DC like this at the output. So guys, this is the circuit diagram we are going to use to build up our, our project. Without any delay, let's start building up. We have start first of all, start testing the transformer. We build the bridge rectifier. We connect the capacitor filter. We connect the voltage, uh, the voltage regulator and we have an output then we'll, we'll test uh, with an LED here we'll have an LED which will test it with the with our power supply so we'll connect an LED at the end to test our power supply let's build it now guys we are first of all going to test the transformer so this is the main AC power this is the step down transformer so this step down transformer is written 220 50 hertz output will be 12 but you can still you can get you, you just have to measure for you to know the right output so let's measure so the transformer is connected like this the 40 volt 240 volt is this side this side here it is fed to the transformer so the transformer is this block two blocks here so this one here this element so the output is connected to a voltmeter like this so this is the volt the voltmeter so let's measure the output voltage so you can see that the output voltage is 14 volt AC. So at this point here we have 14 volt AC. That is the output for the from the transformer. Now we can now let's build our build our bridge rectifier. Bridge rectifier is built this way using four semiconductor diode. Okay, we have we have we have one, two, three, four semiconductor diode and five. So this one we'll test it later. Guys, according to our schematic diagram, so we have built this bridge rectifier. The bridge rectifier is here. This is diode one, diode two, diode three, diode four. As you can see, so the face is connected here. The ground, the neutral is connected to this side. So we'll get output from this one here and this here so what we are going to do we are going to measure the output voltage yeah? so guys you can see that after the rectification we are getting 12.71 dc you can see the meter is pointing on dc side okay the first one we measured was ac side so at this point we have ac which is already rectified to dc so we need to comp connect according to our circuit diagram after the bridge you need to connect a capacitor filter after 
then we will move on. So let's connect the capacitor filter. Now we are going to connect the capacitor filter. So we are going to use a uh, film capacitor. So this electrolytic capacitor. So this is marked negative. This side is marked negative and the positive. So if you want to know also the, the polarity of this capacitor, the long pin is the positive and the short pin is the nega negative. So you're going to connect that capacitor at this point. Then we'll start filtering the AC component. So guys, we have connected the capacitor filter. Now we are filtering. So let's see how it's connected. It's just connected as shown in the circuit here. You can see from the bridge, it's going, the current is going through that red wire. You can, you'll see there, then it reaches the capacitor. Also from this breadboard, you see this rail are vertically this way. So it's getting power from here. So now let's test. You can see that that is the output after filtering. So that output is increased because the capacitor is charging and discharging. By doing that action is when the AC component is being filtered from the capacitor. So we have 19.5 volt dc okay now we need to connect the last component which we say it's a voltage regulator so we have so we want to achieve 5 volt at the output so we need to connect our voltage regulator so the voltage regulator is normally here this is an integrated circuit ic this is what we are going to use we are going to use 7805 which will provide us 5 volt at the output so this IC is normally this way, it has three pins, pin 1, pin 2, pin 3. Pin 1 is the input, pin 2 is the, neg the volt negative, and the pin 3 is the output. So let's connect it and see the output voltage. Guys, this is the final product of our project. As per the circuit diagram, transformer is this one. Bridge rectifier, bridge rectifier is this one here, the four diodes. Capacitor filter. The capacitor filter is this one. Voltage regulator and voltage regulator is this one here. Now let's test and see the output. Our project was to get to uh, design a power supply which gives us 5 volt at the output. So you can see our power supply is 5 volt DC output. You can see DC output. We can even change the scale. Let's switch it off. You can see it is giving us 5 volt DC. So that is 5 volt DC. So our project is successful. Okay, guys. So now we need to test with a load. Let's test with an LED. Then we test with a DC motor. So guys, we have connected an LED. It's right here. So we are going to test our power supply. So you can see that our power supply is able to uh, light up that LED. Also, let's test with a DC motor, 5 volt DC motor. So guys, we have connected a DC motor. This is a DC motor. This is our power supply. So we are going to run this DC motor with this power supply. So guys, you can see that our power supply, 5 volt power supply is able to run this DC motor. So, also try to design one. Just follow the steps as we have done it. And you will come up with something like this. So guys, it's not uh, the, the power supply using the capacitor filter method. Next time we'll use LC filter and then the other time we'll be using pipe filter.